you guys a quick refresher on the rules. Rule number one, I cannot use the auction house. Every single player on this team must come from a pack or a set. Number two, every game that I win adds $75 to the bank and every playoff game that I win adds 100. Also, once again, I recently got LASIK, so I'm trying to protect the eyeballs still, so get over it. I'm wearing some shades. First and foremost, the pack and play squad is absurdly good. And a ton of these guys I haven't used yet because I didn't play a game at the end of the last episode. Golden ticket, Colin Johnson. Gold 99, Dickerson. 99, Kenny Pickett. 99, Alec Ingold. George Kittle. Luke Keekley, And James Smith-Williams. And for this week's episode, there is a brand new wave of golden tickets. J-Ron Curse. Quarterback, Lamar Jackson, who's incredible. There's wide receiver Sauce Gardner. There's a Micah Parsons. And there's Israel Mukamu. I don't, I don't know. Or that, I don't know. And last, there's tight end Greg Olson. Up to now, this is the best golden ticket release because Lamar and Micah are both absurdly good. However, none of this matters because I have zero dollars in the bank right now. So we're going to start out today's pack and play with a quick dub. I really, really like my team though. I'm excited to use them. And our record is four. Four and one. So if I actually get a win right here, we're into the playoffs, which means all of our wins will be worth $100 each as opposed to 75. And this is old gen. Fuck. And starting that game on old gen and switching over to next gen just reset my season. Damn. That was stupid. Whatever. Let's go get a dub. Kenny Pickett on the top three. Luke Kuechly. That is a brand new, completely different top three. And he's got a Saints theme team. I believe that was Saints theme team. He throws over the middle to Taysom Hill and connects. He had the check down. He doesn't take it and Elway's gonna go down. Oh my god. A 17 yard sack. Oh, I like that. I like that Larry Fitz. Oh, Larry Fitz could have had it. Third and 27. He is in a very rough spot here. Get there, Palomalu! Fourth and 27. Look at the defense, man. We got a real deal God squad here. Honestly, kind of shocked he's not punting this ball away. He's trying to take one down the middle. It ain't there. And I take over on literally the seven yard line. All right, let's cut this back up the middle. Run through somebody I was hoping, Dickerson. We'll take second and goal. I'm gonna go same thing left side. Cut it back up the middle. <laughs> Make it too easy for Dickerson. Dickerson is huge, dude. <laughs> one more time, I'm going the same play. <sighs> eh! Eight to zero. Wow, it was easy. Strong start for the boys. I think he's gonna run the ball now. Passing was not going for him, but neither is running right now. Second and 13, he heaves a great pass. Down to, I think, Colin Johnson. No, that's Calvin Johnson. He's gonna go with the handoff, look up the middle. Not going anywhere, good defense. Oh yeah, it gets, oh darn it. Keekly doesn't get the tackle, but that's okay. We got it right after, big TFL, third and 10. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, I'm just behind it. Uh oh, a good move from Taysom Hill. Palomalu misses the tackle. And you're gonna showboat. Oh, you've chosen a loss then, sir. Shouldn't have done that. This is nice though. He takes the PAT. So if I can score and get a two-point conversion again, it's actually a two-possession game. That's big. Look at that cutback from Dickerson, and we'll take five yards. Can I win today without passing the football? Do we think it's possible? It's not possible. That was, uh, that was quite the loss right there. Third and seven. I'm going to hit him. Ooh, good, good right for the Kittle. And the stiff arm. We just barely get across the first. That was all Kittle right there. Look who's wide open. Chris Godwin. Almost a touchdown, but not quite. Two for two, Kenny Pickett. He adjusts to man coverage. I think Godwin can still take his man. No, but George Kittle burnt his guy. Great route, Kittle. Second and four. I'm going to stay in this formation here. Not going to mess with it. Oh, step up. I had a few people open, but I whiffed on all of them. Ooh, Dickerson with the little hitch route. Breaks one. Gets lit up on the next one. First and ten. He can't handle. 
Five wide right now. Second and 10. I think he's just going to go man coverage now. Let's see if we can run against this. Try the inside zone. Ooh, damn. There's actually a really good lane if I got past him. Okay, so he's just man coverage now, huh? All right, you can do man coverage because George Kittle is going to... George Kittle's going to make you pay for that decision. Okay, George Kittle just fucking fell on the ground like an idiot. And he'll still make you pay! <laughs> First and 10. No way. That's crazy. Dude, George Kittle literally fell down, got back up, still made the play. Let's go Dickerson. Oh, good cut. Good hit. Dickerson's carrying the squad. Second and two. And guess what? That clock's going to go down to 20 seconds. He's not going to be able to score again. Going to go left side. And somehow he gets right through the middle. Let's see if we can score with no clock left. Going to try the play action. Oh, X over the middle. Larry Fitz. Hey, if we get this go for two, it's a two possession game and we get balled to half. It's basically game over. I'm gonna go right at the user. I'm gonna go to his side. Oh, Dickerson? Darn it. Unable to get the two point, but we still got a seven point lead in ball at half. All right, beautiful start to this game. The best case scenario actually is a rage quit. So if we can get a rage quit, I'll get that extra pack from the store. Let's see if we can pull that off. All right, first and 10. I like that play action. I'm gonna hit it again. Pickett's gonna roll out, and we are just unbelievably bottled up. Nobody was home there. Second and 10, probably the same thing here. Oh, it's not. This is a zone coverage. We'll hit Larry Fitz, get inside. I'm gonna block Kittle. I want a little bit of time here. Ooh, look who's wide open. The golden ticket, Colin Johnson. Get a little momentum on our side now. Now he's man coverage. Oh yeah, that's man coverage. Colin Johnson with one hell of a route, but I caught him late. Kenny Pickett! <laughs> Deceptively fast. And not just because he's white, but just because, you know, it's just Kenny Pickett. Well, okay, yeah, it's because he's white. Hold up. Wait a minute. Third and two. Oh, I don't think we got there. Oh, we did. Dude, I don't know. I might have paid the ref. That did not feel like he got home. I'm gonna try and roll out right and get over to Kittle. Yikes. Oh, Dickerson. What a route. But it's not quite a first down. Third and one. Dude, I tell you what though. We are fighting this man coverage. We're fighting it well. I'm gonna go head back dive left side again. Oh yeah. That's a first down. Big time, baby. Good work. First and 10. Reset this clock. He's gonna quit. And he's gone! I knew it! Dude, he was in a really tough spot there, though. I was up by a touchdown. I was about to get a field goal to make it a two-possession lead. And he's only got the fourth quarter left. Yes! All right, so $75 in the bank. And we get one pack of our choice from the store. It can't be these bundles, obviously. But we get one pack. Of course, I'm going with the Pro End Game Elite Pack. The best pack in this game. See if we can snag out of this one. A remix player. It's Steve Smith. We get a Redux 95 Marvin Harrison. We get Chris Jones and 95 Pete Metzlars. Now I'm going to quick sell all these guys since I can't really use them. Get a good amount of training, 276,000. Now the good thing about training right now is there's this 97 plus theme team remix player pack. And it's probably the best value for training. It's a guaranteed really good player. I've got 276, so we'll take what we can get in this pack. Looks like our first is going to be, we get 97 Trey McBride. I can't actually use that but i can sell them for the remix coins and the remix coins can get me more gold 99 so i'm chilling this is good news now i'm gonna use that full 75 dollars right now so that gives me 8,900 madden cash which adds to the 700 i already have on the account so we've got 9,600 in total now there's an interesting bundle in the store right now the pearl platinum elite bundle you get 592 overall or better players and 10 80 plus platinum elite players which would be coins to use on packs. But honestly, the first thing we got to do is figure out what this team needs. We need another center because Scott Questenberry is not cutting it. Other than that, the offense is pretty much all 99s. I guess I'd take a right guard, but Russ Grimm is really good. So really, we just need a center. Now on defense, we can't say the same. All of my linebackers can get an upgrade. Kyle Pitts, Boyd, and Bosa are all outdated. Luke Kiku is really good. My DBs are great. Free safety Larry Fitz has actually been a dog. I don't really want to replace him. But then my D-line, my right end sucks. My D-tackle two sucks. And my D-tackle one's only a 97. So those can be upgraded as well. Special teams is damn good too. So I can't really mess with that. The theme team remix champion bundle gives me 399 overalls, and I get to choose. So this just has to be the best choice. 
I just have to do this. Three guaranteed 99s. It does use all my cash though, so I can't get that platinum bundle. Now, I don't actually know what the options are in here. I probably should have thought about that first. So there's a Chad Johnson. Ooh, Demarcus Ware guaranteed. That's a linebacker. Jenkins and Hinton I already have. Ingold I already have. Smith Williams I already have. So I get a gold 99 punter and Ocho Cinco? No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep Demarcus Ware, but I'm going to sell the other two. I'll sell Chad Johnson and Thomas Morstead. Get the remix coins and use those to get the positions I actually need. So we'll sell these two for 10,000 remix coins for Demarcus Ware. Welcome to the team. DeMarcus Ware is 6'4 with 95 speed, 99. Jesus. Yeah, it's a really, really, really good card. And we still have three 96 plus Reduxes, three 92 pluses, and then one fantasy pack from week three. I haven't even seen what week three of Theme Team Remix is, so I'm excited to see that. We start out with Rodney Harrison, who cannot help this squad, so I'll take the 160,000 training. This team is like too good, dude. I gotta, I gotta lose and reset. We're too damn good. Sammy Knight, I can't use you. Our third and final redox! Hey, that's exactly what we need. We got a right and outside linebacker. Damn. So now we got Vrabel and Demarcus. Those are huge upgrades to this team. That's crazy. I can't believe we just pulled that. Dude, now if the 92 plus lead players just want to be golden tickets, Christian Watson, you don't help. I'm not going to lie. After that is an ultimate legend player. It's 95 QB bow. Be nice for the training. I can't really use it. And our final 92 plus is a Super Bowl, probably a 94. Ooh. 97 Edelman. Can't use you, but I will take your training. And finally, this is the week three theme team remix players. So let's see what they are. Oh, wait, no, this is not, this is not week three. Oh, round one of three. Wait a minute. It's going to give me one player from each week. Wait a second. Is there a center? There's got to be one center, right? Yes. Brian Allen. All right. So first things first, let's pick up Brian Allen and we'll upgrade Brian Allen into a gold 99. Week two, let's get a gold 99 D tackle Vita Vea. Our final player will be Aiden Hutchinson, who I can make a gold 99. I'd love to have Hutch. Oh, I lied. Holy shit. There's a lot of players in this promo. There's Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers would be sick. Mike Hilton. There's a Josh Allen. Dude, I think my entire team is gold 99s at this point. Like, I don't think, I don't even think any of these guys are upgrades. I guess I could go gold 99 Jalen Ramsey, but my team is so good that I, that's crazy how good my team is. To be totally honest, we should get a quarterback better than Kenny Pickett eventually. So I'm actually going to go Josh Allen here and Jalen Ramsey in case... Wow. Now it's just going to come down to all our remix coins to build this entire squad. Okay, let's start with Brian Allen. Brian Allen, now a gold 99. He gets secure protector for free. Whoa. Aiden Hutchinson gets edge threat elite for one and double or nothing for zero. There's our six foot seven gold 99 left end. And we don't have enough remix coins to get one more player. But I think it should be Vita Vea. So I'll get him started. So we're a few thousand short of finishing Vita Vea. We do, however, have five. 550,000 training. And since I can get these 97 plus guaranteed, we will have more than enough to do Vita Vea. And if I get a gold 99, I could probably do two players. Jojo Doman. I don't know who that is, but cool. So that's enough for Vita Vea to go gold 99. Can I pull a gold 99 right now though? That'd be sick. That would be very helpful. Train McBride again. That's okay. We'll take the coins. I'm going to generate the best lineup. I want to see what this does. We are a 98 overall lineup. We got DeMarcus Ware, Keekly, Devontae Adams, Vrabel, Palomalu, Fitz. And the D-line now has James Smith-Williams at right end. And then Hutch, obviously, at left. Vita Vea in there. Justin Jones. And let's finish off Vita Vea. We're almost a gold 99 all around which is insane. Gets inside stuff for free, which is incredible. So there's your defense, ladies and gentlemen. And offense gets one minor but pretty awesome upgrade in gold 99 Brian Allen. And I do apologize if you guys are Kenny Pickett elitists, but Kenny Pickett is not going to be my endgame quarterback. <laughs> Listen, you son of a bitch. I'll probably end up getting gold 99 Josh Allen in there, but Kenny Pickett was pretty solid in his debut, so I can't complain. All right, we're 98 overall, dude. This team can literally hardly get better. I'm gonna go play another game, but low-key, I can probably only squeeze in one more episode with this team. I've almost maxed this team. I have to reset if I want to keep doing pack and play. By the way, I know pack and play, I kind of just rushed it in here at the end of Madden, but if you guys are really enjoying this, I will continue it. If not, I'll just... Do the rest of Wheel of 2K. It's all good. Either way, this game right here, he's got Frogers, Singletary, and AJ Brown. I think this is a Titans theme team, except he just put Aaron Rodgers at quarterback because he didn't want to use Malik Willis. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. No, he does. He has Malik Willis kicker. This is. This is totally a Titans team team. 
All right, first and 10. I, I have no idea what this defense is. Probably man coverage. Oh, it's not. Wait a minute. Ooh, a little bit of lag, but that's okay. George Kittle still comes down with it. This is a zone I'm going. No huddle until he switches, because this is going to get lit up. Oh, he switched. Oh, he big time switched. Ooh. George Kittle, that was supposed to be a rat catch. Matt, what are we doing? Is he still in a zone? I'd be shocked. He's still in a zone. Get out of the zone, you fraud. This is not gonna work. Come on, this is pack and play. I have no pride here. This is a wheel of mutt. I will know how to spam you until you lose if you don't switch out of this. My guy. My guy. All right, let's try a little run play, yeah? Let's have a little fun. Dickerson. He's a little too, he's a little too big, you know? Like he kind of got stuck. What do you mean by that? I'm looking for a high ball, George Kittle. Third and seven, high ball, Kittle. Yup. User can't get to it if you high ball it. Especially not Kevin Byard's little ass. All right, let's try the stretch again. I'm not giving up on this. Oh, great blocks. Great blocks, boys. I'm so proud of you. Second and six. You get four yards on a run play. You're smooth sailing, man. Let's try the jet sweep. This play's either dog shit or incredible. Let's see which one it is today. It was dog shit today. I figured it out. Third and eight, though. I'm going to go no huddle. I'm going to go George Kittle corner route. And you're going to watch the magic, baby. Oh, I had him, but I'm going to go Kenny Pickett. It's magic regardless. I had Kittle. I don't know why. I don't know why I made that more stressful than it needed to be. 6-0. I'm going right at the middle. I am going right at him. Let's go. Oh, jeez. He committed. He ran commit. All right. Good defense. Good stop by him. But hey, a 6-0 to start the game. No complaints from me. He is cooking something up. PA shot seems he wants to hit Gronk. Okay. Okay. Big hit. Damn. Needed a bigger hit. Ooh, he almost made a big mistake. He's going to go half back. Oh, hey, Luke Keekly with the Superman tackle. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to throw right at me, but he overthrew it. Third and five. Does he go halfback? No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is way too open. Why did you just dive like that? What was that dive? That was so poverty. And darn it, I'm down by a point now. All right, we got to score with no time left because he gets ball at half. And I'm already losing. So we got to play this really well to win it. No way. I don't got to do shit. Larry Fitz is going to lock it in. Dude, Malik Willis kicker is not the move, I guess. But hey, I can try to get my two-point conversion here. This will be really important if we can get it. I'm going to rifle it. Ooh, that was a wobbler. That ball was going end over end, but it worked. 14 to 7, just like that. Montana with a deep bomb. Does he take this out? Oh, he does. Ooh, Devontae Adams taking a couple big hits. All right, he takes over from the 15. Oh, get home! Look at that, Mad Max Crosby. Putting him in a tough position. Palomalu, through the middle! What? He just threw it in my face. That's got to be an INT, sir. Mine. Oh, and he caught it. Fourth and three. We got a clamp here. We can win the ball game. Yup, yup, yup! Let's go! Mel Blunt's got it! And he breaks the tackle! Mel Blunt! Mel Blunt! Mel fucking Blunt! Who are you? What? What? Mel Blunt just turned into God! He just, he just turned into... Who the fuck? How many tackles did he just break? How many? Two-point conversion. It's a big one. Pick it. Kenny! 22 to 7, just like that. I was talking about upgrading my corners, and then Mel Blunt goes ahead and does that. There's a lot of football left to be played, though. I'm not going to lie. Because he gets the ball at half, so, like, technically, he could score a touchdown here with no time left. And then he could score after half, and all of a sudden, the game's tied up. Oh, it should be game over. DeMarcus Ware should have picked that. It should be game over right now. Oof. First and 10, he's got the two-minute warning there. Oh, great tackle from Palomalu. Open field. First and 10. He gets a real nice one right there. He's not calling any timeouts. Doesn't seem in a huge hurry. Okay, that's good. Keep him in bounds. Hey! That's a huge tackle. Keep him in bounds right there. That's what we love. Get there! Ooh. Almost an INT. Third and three. The incomplete pass stops the clock, though. Still doesn't have to use any timeouts. He has yet to run the ball a single time. Wow. 
Nice catch. He'll probably use a timeout there. Yep, he does. Just can't let him get in the end zone. That's all. That's all it comes down to. I see it. Ooh, Rodgers throws a mallard. I don't really know how he missed that throw so poorly. Honestly, fine, because he's in bounds, and he got lit up. Third and six, got to use another time out there. That works for me. He did not see the Tampa 2 coming. That was my first time running it. All right, we're going to go cover three, buzz. Oh, he's got Gronk. He missed it. Oh, but he's got that too. Great pass. Oh, oh that's so unlucky. I don't even feel good about that. That is so unlucky. I think he's going to go for it again, so I'm going to go on Fitz. I'm not supposed to be on Vita Vea right now. I fumbled the bag. Was not supposed to be on Vita Vea there. I don't know. I'm interested to see what he tries here. <sighs> Great conversion. It's 22 to 15. This is kind of what I was worried about. Him scoring with no time left, but he leaves me with three timeouts and 26 seconds. So I could get a field goal up here, especially because he kicked that through the end zone. That's really good. I just got to come out and get in field goal range. There's just no way you'd go zone here. God, what are you doing? Kenny Pickett's going to take off with so much room. There's another timeout. We might already be in field goal range. We are. I shouldn't even throw this football, to be honest. But that is so open. I, I might be able to go touchdown. 10 seconds on the clock. I, I technically could go to the end zone a few times. Now I'm going to take no the field goal. Balls. No balls. No balls. You want see ball. This is too important of points. I'm just going to take him. I don't know why he's in his zone. He has to man up there. 25 to 15. So a 10-point lead, but he gets the ball here. Keekly through the middle. Oh, he throws half back. Nice play. Ooh, that's the golden ticket. Haskins. Need a big, need a big, 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 big stop. Darn it. Nice play. No pressure on that. We got to get home on the QB. We're not going to get anything. First and 10, will he run the ball? Oh, he can throw half back though. Big hit. Come on, Haskins. He's getting everything he wants right now. Okay, that's decent defense. Second and five. Risky pass, but he got it to go. Smoke! Kingley! Oh my God, the lurker! He's got a high ball, that He tried to put it over my head. And Luke Keekly soars in the air for it. Monster play. I think he's going to leave the same thing open, which is Colin Johnson. Yep. I can't understand why he's playing defense like this. It's never going to work. And he won't come out of it. Time to burn a little clock, boys. All right, first and 10. I'll pick up what we can. Great blocks. Great blocks. Damn. That'll take us into the fourth quarter. Maintaining that 10-point lead. There were 40 points scored in the first half. And so far, zero in the second half. And the third quarter's in the books. I like that his name is too good. But not good enough, man. Not good enough to best the woman haters. Beautiful. Ooh. Dickerson? Clock is winding down. Goes with the run commit there. I think I still picked up a yard. Yeah, we'll still take a yard on the run commit. Not bad. Switch formations, make them think we're passing, and we'll we'll continue to run the ball. I think this is the safest way to guarantee the win is, is kind of just run it out and kick a field goal. I'm going to bring this back left side. Damn. Damn, John Madden. Rest in peace, man. What a play. Third and 13. This will take me to the two-minute warning. Did not even get the ball off. Can I hit a 59? Montana can hit a 59-yard field goal, which is nice. We'll let this take us right through the two-minute warning. Although my power's not very good, I, I actually could miss this. Did I? No, Montana got it. What a stud. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. It said 25 to 15 there. I thought somehow it didn't count it. 28 to 15 and we're kicking off. Things are looking really good right now. It'd be very difficult to lose this game. Up 13 with a minute 58. We arrived at 28 points in a very bizarre fashion. Okay, he makes a nice throw to Gronk. Ball's in play. Clock is ticking. So that works for me. As long as he's not chunking me for crazy yards every play, we're going to be all right. That was a pretty big chunk, though, not going to lie. Calls his first time out there. He wants this. I respect it. He's not giving up. Dude, the fact that he hasn't ran the ball a single time, though, I can literally guess pass every single play. And it puts him at such a disadvantage, I get crazy good pass rush. Like, dude, just one hand off. One inside zone, and you'll go for 40 yards. Vrabel around the edge. Can't get home. Get him in bounds. Let's go. Third and three. He is in bounds. He might throw the same thing. I'm going to try and jump it. Oh, threw the same thing other side. He gets out of bounds this time. Minute six on the clock. He's already used almost a minute. If he goes touchdown here, I'd be in trouble, but that's about it. 
That's fine. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Shit. Good play, good play. I gotta get him to make a mistake. He's gotta take a shot. That's a shot. Night train lane! That's ball game. That is all she wrote. That was defense right there. Kenny Pickett did not throw a single touchdown. We had 28 points and we locked up the dub. Let's get it, boys. I can't count that as a rage quit. He's just getting a dashboard faster. He played the entire game out for the most part, but a great game for us. Big win. Now we got two wins on the board, dude. I don't know what to do, though. All right, listen, listen, listen. We got 75 back in the bank. I'm gonna use it right now, but honestly, we might have to hang up the towel for this season of pack and play because my team is too good. I can't, it's like I can't upgrade this team anymore. All right, I'm gonna open the Pearl Platinum Elite Bundle. Potentially, I could get a golden ticket in these 92 plus player packs. So it's kind of what I'm looking for. Start out with a remix. 92. I was about to say that would suck ass if it's a 92 remix. And it was. We get a Redux, which is a 93. Okay, we're going up. 92, 93, now 94. Legend player. 95. We skipped a rung. Now take me to 96. Now take me to 96. Wait a minute. This actually could be... Oh. Okay, we're back on par. Now this should be 96. 97! Hey, it works for me. Pretty much gonna quick sell all those guys. Can't really use them. Jesus, starting our platinum player with 200 thousand coins. I got to keep track of how many coins we get here. Actually, I just won't look at any of them. And then I'll go in my item binder and we'll sell all of them at once. So we got 200,000 from Bayard Plus. Got Hughes, Pittman, Trash, Trash. Rashawn Gary's okay. Okay, it was pretty much all trash. We'll quick sell all these guys. 375,000 coins is definitely one pro endgame elite pack. Jamal Adams! Whoa! Yo, he's got base 99 speed, gold 99, Ed Reed. Who's going to start over Larry Fitzgerald? Holy shit. Yo, that's crazy. Dude, we even got Quan Alexander, Boson, Jamal Adams, who we can quick sell. Taking us up to 500,000. This team is too good. I've confirmed it. It is official. My team is too good. This pack and play team is too good. I can't keep doing this account. No, it's a bummer that I got screwed out of the playoffs because I accidentally started a game on old gen there. So it would be nice to know if this team could take it all the way, but dude, I can't keep going with this team. It's too fucking good. This is one of the nastiest teams I've literally ever assembled. And I'm not even done. Like I could make it better. I could put in Josh Allen. All right, boys, I'm making the executive decision right now. I'm pulling the plug on this pack and play team. And next pack and play episode, if I decide to do another one, will be a brand new, completely wiped team. But can we just give it up to this squad? I mean, just superstar players at every single position. Gold 99's almost everywhere on the field. Every single player is exclusively from packs or sets. Mostly just packs. I don't even think I really did any of these guys in a set. In fact, I can almost confidently say these are all pack players. They are. These are all pack players. We even got Joe Montana kicker. An unbelievable team. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this season of Pack and Play because we built an absurdly dominant team and got two huge wins today. It's too good. It's too good of a team. All right, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.